there are people who have a visceral reaction of anger towards me or towards you or towards anyone you can name. And they feel an emotion, right? And emotion's a real thing. Anger is a real thing. They'll feel a visceral emotion for a person they've never met based on an edited news segment yeah. from a propaganda organization. They're going to sit there and go, well, this propagandist has told me this, and now I feel rage towards this person I've never met. They haven't investigated anything. They haven't dived down the rabbit hole. They don't care. They, don't they care. just instantly comply and believe. If they can make you feel emotions with a short edited clip, well, then you are the enemy of freedom. You are the exact type of people they want so they can play clips on the news, you get angry, and do whatever they tell you to do. You're the worst person in the world. And another thing that people just lack so much brain, if you if they were to come to me and say, Michael's got a new case, he's back on the streets, crime, crime boss, da-da. They put it all over the news and tell you your past and you're a crime boss, da-da. And they say, look, here's an indictment. I'm gonna say, so wait, the police wrote this and the media wrote that. <laughs> so I don't care about any of it. It's all a lie. It's all a scam because it's a one-sided story. People are going to be full-grown adults and not understand that one-sided stories always end one way. You can't ask the media or the police anything about anybody. And then the scary thing about all of this is what we were talking about earlier. If you actually do a crime, like a bad, heinous thing, you rob a grandma, they seem to let you off. They don't seem to punish you like they used to. No. And and that's a really big rabbit hole to go down as to why they're doing that and why they're trying to make society so unsafe. Perhaps it's because the only thing the human mind will accept a reduction in freedom for is safety. The only thing that will make you say, okay, take my freedom, but make me safe. So the worse things get, the more dangerous it becomes to leave your house, you might end up agreeing to being locked in your house. And okay, you deliver my food, you deliver my bugs, and I'll stay home because it's, it's dangerous out there. That's the only thing we'll give up freedom for is safety. You're right. So that's why it's getting more and more crazy by the day. El Salvador, the president of El Salvador, has proved you can fix any mess. He cleaned it all up. Mm -hmm. Are there some innocent people in jail, like we were talking earlier about Romania, Japan, etc.? Probably. But he's fixed it. I don't know if you've ever watched. Have you ever watched his speeches? No. Oh, El Salvador went from the most dangerous country in the Western Hemisphere to the safest. And, how, he, and what length of time? A year, year and a half. He just turned up, built a mega prison, said, if you have a tattoo or you're related to a gangster or you're in a house with a gangster, you're all going to jail. And he just locked up everyone, head to toe, everybody. And now it's the safest country. And he's saying, now they're going through the judicial process. They're going to do some jail. And some people who are innocent are going to eventually get out. He took drastic measures to get something done. I'm not saying America should do that, but I'm saying I'm sure with the monumental resource they have and the amount of time they spend going after Bitcoin millionaires like Roger Ver or in trying to convince the Romanian embassy to put me in jail for talking online or keeping an eye on every single person who's a Trump supporter, perhaps they could, I don't know, stop grandmas getting murdered if they wanted yeah. to.